Super Bear tattoo at, by the way? Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento? Yeah. Was it like a, was it a tattoo shop? It was a little tattoo shop there. There was only like two tattoo shops in Sacramento at the time because they still had this bad rep. So the, there was two shops in downtown Sacramento, uh -huh. and my mom, even my mom took me. Your mom took you? Yeah. After Damn! I turned, after I turned 18, my mom took me. She, mom, you should have done some research. <laughs> She, dude, she interviewed the tattoo artist for like 45 minutes before she even let him talk to me. Oh my God. <laughs> she was like, so how long have you been doing this? Yeah, pretty much. How many years experience do you have? Yeah. Inspecting all his needles. It's like, are those brand new? Oh, it's the ink new? That's right. I, I mean, for some of you that don't know out there, Alex, he might look like a bodybuilder, guys, but this dude is an actually a uh, doctor at a jail and stitches up all the motherfuckers and get stuck and shit in the kidneys. <laughs> No, seriously, all joking aside, this guy takes care of people in the jails and the prison systems, and um, so he's a, he's actually a physician himself. Your mother was is a, also a physician or a nurse? No, or, no, no, she was crazy. She Puerto Rican. Oh, you got a Puerto Rican mama like Jasmine. Jasmine on Tattoo Night versus Puerto Rican. If you guys don't know that, um, yeah, she's they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow, and they, and they like bacon and pork. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 100% sure. Le gusta en el puerto yeah. mucho. Um, so she was like tripping out. She was like, let me see your needles and shit. Yeah. I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that's a good thing actually though. Just to make sure. Too bad it didn't turn out. It as came well. out like that. Too yeah. bad it didn't turn out as well as you planned it exactly. to be. Exactly. Um, but it's cool. We're going to get it all fixed up for you today though. All right, mom. I didn't get no, uh, I didn't get no interviews from mom and uh, no phone calls, but... I'm pretty sure she trusts me on fixing her boys back. This is Alex's uh, second session on this um, Superman. Superman cover up guys. This is uh just for his first session so you guys can see this is this is his original Superman, right Alex? Yep. How old were you when you got that? Uh I was eighteen, just turned eighteen. Eighteen! I bet you you felt like Superman at eighteen. You know? <laughs> Motherfuckers built like Superman! <laughs> but that's that's what we're we're uh covering up or doing a better version actually is what we're doing. Um, after the first session, this is, if you guys can see that from there, um, lean back just a slightly touch. There you go. Um, after the first session, you can see pretty much, uh, the majority of this cover up is pretty much already all gone. What you see kind of poking through from the old tattoo, I'm actually going to turn it into texture like cracks and, uh, make it look like concrete and, uh, give it like a really nice bright red, dark, I don't want it to be like bright, bright. I don't want it to look too cartoony. Alex, you weren't really going for that, right? So he wanted to go with something that's more like, like edgy and dark and, and kind of had like some structure to it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today when we complete this uh, tattoo. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do a time lapse. I'm gonna texture the shit out of this thing, and then Alex is gonna walk out here with a badass Superman tattoo. Oh, 
You're done! Oh. Fuck. Okay, thank you, God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> thank you, God. I had to do that extra line, huh? You survived, Alex! <laughs> Made it! Done. Two sessions. <laughs> Two sessions, people. <laughs> All right. Ready to see the the old Superman turn into the new Superman? Let's do it. I wish I could fucking take my fucking shirt off and be all fucked. Huh? <laughs> take my shirt off, I look like a big torta, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all can't be genetically fit there, Alex. Hey, you're the one that's lost 175 pounds, bro. Yeah, that's true. I guess I went from a torta to a taquito. Yeah. Still sexy though. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Thanks, brother. Ready to see this thing? Let's do it. Let me go grab the mirror real quick and then um, just sit right there for a minute. Cool, dude. All right, Alex, you ready to, ready to see this thing? Let's do it. All right, go ahead, check it out, check it out. Come over here in the mirror. Two sessions, 10 hours later. Damn. Dude, that's <laughs> fucking incredible. <laughs> dude. No, that's a Superman tattoo, no. dude. Incredible, man. Dude, that's better than I would have ever thought. It. Dude, that's just... It's crazy, dude, right? That's fucking sick, man. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome, bro. I appreciate it, dude. You're very so welcome. Much. You are very, very welcome, dude. The texture in this thing is unreal, man. <laughs> I had to do a lot of texture and shit, like yeah. the, the, that last hour that you were sitting. I had to do all that texture because it was the only way I was going to be able to disguise it, but you'll never be able to tell that that whole tattoo went on. No, no, no way. way. At all. No way. This. Check it out, Mike. You so want to see it? what it was guys so as you can see the way that I was able to achieve this cover-up was uh, was was semi difficult I mean from a 1 to 10 it was definitely like a 9 um, the old tattoo sits right under here and the main way that I was able to achieve getting rid of this cover-up from what you see from the old photo was the old photo had a lot of flames through it so the S wasn't really like solid it was kind of like broken up with the texture of all this flame and the flames is actually what I turned into all these cracks and kind of gave it like this like concrete, like really hard edge look to the piece. Again, Alex didn't want to have something that was that was too soft and subtle. You know, he's a big boy, he lifts weights, that's what he does. And um, he wanted to have something that, that resembled like his love for weightlifting and structure of like mass and, and just density, like more masculine, pretty much. He wanted to fucking look like a dude's tattoo, you know what I mean? And so we achieved that with the structure of the the texture and the contrast was was the way that I was definitely able to achieve this this cover up. So, way to go, man! Two Thanks, sessions, man. two sessions. It. it took two sessions, um, and it was about ten hours total. So, keep watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't be shy. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.
by the way, what's your Instagram name? Uh, Alex Pinoso underscore MD. Dude, you guys gotta check this dude out. I mean, seriously, he goes from like being a little gordito to a freaking, <laughs> to like a freaking, there's no fat on this guy's body bodybuilding shit. Oh, if you guys want some tips on bodybuilding, that's this guy. Look him up on Instagram. It's crazy. Thanks, man. This episode is sponsored by In N Out California. I fucking as wish. As well plug him. Yeah, might as well plug him. <laughs> Shit, get some free burgers out of this. Uh, in and out, you out there listening? Big exactly. Gus would have mind some free uh, protein burger coupons. Exactly. <laughs>